Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna cook with you another tagine. I know I'm exaggerating with tagines, but believe me, they're very good. This tagine especially because it's made with so many vegetables and chicken. You can choose any vegetables you want. Here I use the ones I have in my fridge and um, also a chicken. You can choose any parts of the chicken. Here I used one kilo of chicken thighs because thighs are uh, soft and they cook very quick. But as I said, you can choose any other cuts of chicken. And here, as you can see, I chose different types of vegetables. I have two big onions cut into thick circles, zucchini cut into strips, or chunks, carrots, sweet potatoes cut into edges, normal potatoes, some fresh tomatoes cut into circles, some broccoli, chili, green chili, which is optional. You can choose anything you have. You can choose only two or three of these. You don't have to use all of them. I also use uh, green peas. I have them frozen. Some olives. The red ones are very good for this recipe some chopped fresh coriander garlic paste and some preserved lemons if you don't have this you can skip it it's not necessary i will use extra virgin olive oil as usual some salt but be aware of the salt because the preserved lemons are already enough salty so you can adjust the salt later to your taste i'll also use some spices chili powder turmeric powder coriander powder pinch of cinnamon gives it nice flavor as usual paprika black pepper and ginger powder these are the usual uh, spices i use all the time so let's get started so the first thing we're gonna do is to marinate the chicken All right, for the marinade, we're gonna combine uh, chopped coriander, make sure it's chopped finely, uh, garlic. We're gonna put a little bit of salt, as I said, not too much. And start adding my spices. Quarter teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of coriander powder half teaspoon of ginger powder but you can use also fresh one if you have quarter teaspoon of pepper half teaspoon of sweet paprika and quarter teaspoon of cinnamon I will also use the pulp of my preserved lemon and keep the skin for later. A drizzle of olive oil. And a little bit of water. We're going to add the water little by little because I don't want this to be too runny. I just want it to be kind of paste to be absorbed by the chicken just a little bit as you see and the rest of the water we can use it later i will put some cuts on the chicken cut it through just to make sure the flavors of the marinade go inside my chicken i will add part of the marinade because the rest we're going to use it on the vegetables give it a nice massage coating everywhere make sure the marinade goes everywhere in the chicken if you want this tagine to be vegan you can skip the chicken and only use the marinade on the vegetables so now the chicken is ready we're gonna let it to rest for about 20 minutes but you can use it straight away is no problem now I'll start constructing my tagine First, I will add some extra virgin olive oil to the bottom to make sure the, oil, the onions don't stick to it. And we're going to put 
first layer of onions, thick onions, to make sure the rest of the vegetables don't get burned, don't get stick to the bottom. And then we're going to layer the chicken, the marinated chicken. Make sure it's on the top of the onions. We're going to use all the marinade as well. Wipe my hands and now I will start adding the vegetables. First thing we're going to add are the green peas to the sides. And I will start layering my vegetables. You can choose any decoration you want. I like it to be like this in a circle motion with the long strips to the sides. But you can layer them as you wish. There's no um, specific pattern for this. But the nice thing about it is that at the end, the result is very nice also to the eye. So we don't only eat nice things, but we also eat beautiful things. I mean, nice things to see. I like all my vegetables, as you can see. I will add the broccolis in the center to form kind of flower. I know I'm very bad in adjusting these things, but excuse me, I know you're better than me. So you can just layer it like this to look like a flower. Nothing special about it. And for the olives and the skin of the preserved lemon, I'll add them at the end because they don't require too much cooking time. And now the marinade, we're gonna put it on the top Make sure it does coat most of my vegetables. If you need to add a little bit of water to this marinade, go on with it. No problem, but just add a little bit. We can always add a little bit of water at the end. Just sprinkle it around like this. And that's it. Now my tagine is ready. I have to put it on a cooker on a very low heat for about two hours. And see you later. Okay, now after one hour and a half, the vegetables are nearly ready. I will add a little bit of water. Make sure you add water if you see that it's starting to dry before it cooks, but add little by little. I will also add the olives. Yeah, just make sure if you have some water on the sides to put it on the top just to make sure the flavors go on the top and go on the vegetables like this now as i said i'm gonna add the olives and also sprinkle a little bit of coriander that i left aside I will also put the skin of the preserved lemon on the top and cover it, let it to simmer for about other 30 minutes till my vegetables are ready. All right, guys, my tagine is ready after two hours of slow cooking. As you can see, the vegetables are cooked, are well done. The chicken as well is cooked. It's got a little bit of juice to the bottom, so it's reduced. Now I'll give it a try, always with bread, let's dip in, oh my god, this is really nice, tasty, it's healthy, it's full of flavours, the flavours in this tagine are not so powerful, and you can taste the different vegetables, and the meat as well, this is all about, the tagine is a balance between flavours, so hope you guys enjoyed this recipe if you did like the video please put a thumbs up leave a comment below and share with your friends thank you bye